Hey guys, Flack Monkey here. So sorry it's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been very sick, had tonsillitis and it was very hard to talk. So some updates. This is my bolter playlist as you can see. Uh Warblade server here is the one that I was doing my series on. And unfortunately, um I found out a couple of weeks ago that it was wrapping up and uh the people who were hosting it uh, well, not the people hosting it, because Decoy Gaming are fantastic, but just the people who were um, running it originally decided that you know they didn't want to do that sort of stuff anymore, and it just sort of ran out. So um, that one's actually dying off, unfortunately. But I've said stuff it. I've made my own server, uh, which is currently sitting on 175, and I will be doing a series on that one, and I'm going to do a co-op series with Kaelon and Cadell. Now Kaelon, as you know, has been playing Minecraft for maybe about two, two and a half weeks now. He's actually been playing Flat Core with me, which is quite interesting. Um, he's slowly getting around to it, and Cadell is completely new to the game, and he doesn't actually know an awful lot about it, so it should be a fun series between, you know, someone who's been playing for many years like myself, to someone who's been fresh to it, and then someone who's never really sort of touched it at all. Um, and then I will continue with my flat core server, which is obviously um, what I'm looking into now. And uh, I'll continue doing series there because it's a nice little challenge. It's interesting. I have tried out the uh, different sky blocks as well. I'm not terribly happy with many of them. Um, the Beastcraft one's very interesting. They've got lots of great mods there, but they don't have. Um, uh, my nether base. I've been slowly trying to expand it, so the idea is to have a big tower here, which should go up to the nether highway. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, where am I going? This way. Alright, so, um, yeah, so the idea is what I'm going to do is create a series, a uh, co op series with the guys, and then I plan to have a, um, the flat core one going as well and we'll see how we go um, I'll probably end up playing a lot more than they there it is so I'm after a, um, a tower a fortress um, I'll, dub, I'll probably end up playing a lot more than they are but I'm going to try and get as much of the recording of those guys on as possible because I think that's where the value is going to be um, wow he's sitting hard Problem is lag on this server really gets to me. So I have an interesting time in this fortress. So you're probably going to watch me die today, and uh, I'm not carrying much of value on me. Enchanted armor is not really that fantastic. And how do I get in here again? Um, these are the the vertical fortresses. In case you've never seen one before, there are. Uh, mix of parkour and mobs it's kind of hell alright there's my entrance with the pig man and kill him maybe hey hey gypsy down okay so a bit of parkour into us lava, whatever. Now, let's see. I should heal up, because there's my first blaze. Alright, I'm going to hide down here, because I need to get health. Now, one of these. Ah! Alright, there's a blaze rod that I need. Come on. One of these is fire protection. There you go, chest plate, fire protection. Not much though, unfortunately, so it's not going to help an awful lot. Um, Alright, so. Come on. Oh, would you? Ow. Go, 
go, go. Alright, back in my hiding place. <laughs> I'm not even full health yet. No, avoid the fire. Oh, two blazes, I'm in trouble. Okay, five blaze rods. Alright, so there you go, you can see the spawners there. And more parkour up. And another one! Ah! This is not fair. I can't reach you. Right, go for this one. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Alright, so this is where it starts getting into a bit of the parkour type style. So what you need to do is navigate these ledges. And what you don't want to do is A, fall, because you will die if you fall here. And blazers will still chase you. There's one up there and will knock you down just because they can. Oh. Uh oh. No. Aha! Yeah. Oh, a bit of lag there. Come on. Oh. See, now it's getting hard because he's putting these things here. Okay. Alright, so that's just teleported me now to another area. Now, I need to be careful here. And I need to get down. Uh. No. No. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No. All right. <coughs> so, death. It comes for us all. Now, the best thing to do here is just to log out. I'm joking. You don't just log out. That's the wuss's way to go. Alright, so what you do is you have two choices. You go down here and we have Death Pit. So Death Pit's an escape game. Let's have a look. So objective is hit level 20 and get to the red flag tower. Now Death Pit is notoriously hard for me because I um, have a really crappy connection. So, it's actually mostly spawned in, which is a good change. So in here, into the creeper cave. And then avoid the creepers. Okay, so the object is to hit level 20. Um, now, level 20, and then get to the flag area now. I'll show you where the flag area is because I'm not going to be able to get to the level 20 but it's where the X is there. If you can see the gold X, you get underneath that, wait three seconds without being hit or moving and you get teleported out to the crystal and you can get out for free. Yay! So there's multiple ways you can go. You can go, I think it's this way. Nope. Uh, there's a bit of a maze to get through. There we go. And then, come on spider, spider bro, come on, there we go, got him. Um, there is a way to an ice section out this way. I normally don't do the ice because it's annoying. Um, not that way. There we go. Alright, so.
so. Because if the fireway, there's a fireway you can go as well. You just got to time a jump with a um, bit of cobweb, and you you set so. Being an Australian on an American server, this is what you have to deal with. All right, so come on, get out of the. It's because he's got wool here. Puts me in the wool. Come on, just get me out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's stupid wool. Don't never put wool down as a spawn point. It just frustrates Australians. Okay, now the next way you can get out is through a parkour challenge. Yay! Okay, so parkour, escape game, click. Challenge, go all the way up to escape limbo sooner. Yeah, it doesn't look too hard, does it? <laughs> okay, so there's lots of difficulties. Um, so each section has a difficulty rating, and they'll, you know, you'll have. Um, it doesn't mean it goes from green to black. What you'll actually see is, like, you know, green, green orange, green, a red, a black, a green, back to an orange, to a red, to a red, to a green type thing. So they'll mix through, but gives you an idea of how challenging things are meant to be. And here we go. So waiting for stuff to load in is always great. But general idea is you just get through the course. Now, I am not the best at parkour, so I'm going to try. <laughs> See? I'm going to try and do this one for you, but uh, I'm not going to make any guarantees because I have an issue with this, and that is uh, for some reason my lag, or my connection I should say, sometimes it will make it look like I'm running in air, but then I'll stop running and then I'll start running again, but it kills my momentum. So doing big jumps just sometimes doesn't work for me. But I'll show you the systems anyway because I can get this first section done pretty easily. Um, even though I've made a mistake already, it's all good. So we're in here now. Checkpoint system, yay! So checkpoint one. What this means is if you fail miserably, and let's just say for example, because um, this one here, you get through here, and you come out up the top here. And let's just say you accidentally fall down. Originally, you'd actually have to go through and do all this again and get back to here. Now you can just go checkpoint and you're back here. So that's quite nice. Um, some people don't need it. Um, for the record, some people do both Death Pit and Limbo in six minutes. So it just gives you an idea that um, you know, death isn't always the biggest thing. Alright, like that. And then around, and down, across, and up, and up. Like so. Jump, 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 and then over there, and then over there. But unfortunately that's about all I have time for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up here and then I will, um, I plan to do a, like a public service announcement. Mm. I'll do like a public service announcement where I, I show how to do how to get back to your base in flat core because death isn't everything you know, don't just wait the hour out and then you know try and blindly run back there are many many ways you can get back to your base ah oh.